friends welcome back to kevara farm it's a very beautiful day here at the farm and we are here to talk about poultry farming again so in today's video i want us to discuss the six uh, common poultry diseases i'm also going to talk about their signs and symptoms how you can know that this disease a certain disease is coming up in your flock and i'm also going to talk about how you can how we can generally avoid all these poultry diseases if you're equipped with knowledge and can be able to tell that a certain disease is coming into your flock that is the best thing that you can know uh, basing on the signs and symptoms you can be able to tell that this disease is coming in your flock and just know if you can be able to discover a disease in your flock before it uh, becomes too much you will be able to treat and then spend little money uh, while treating these birds while treating a certain disease So the first disease we have Newcastle. Newcastle is a viral disease and how do you know that your birds are uh, affected by Newcastle? You will uh, notice the greenish droppings in there in the chicken house and then the birds will have twisted necks. So every time you see that your birds are having twisted neck, the neck turns, sometimes it looks up, sometimes it looks back. Or sometimes you see that the birds are rotating around, just know that that bird is having Newcastle. And then also sneezing and coughing. I've ever had an outbreak of Newcastle here at the farm and it just started as... Uh, as cough and sneezing and then it continued continued eventually i started seeing the twisted necks it was newcastle so every time you see these signs just know that you're having newcastle at your farm and, and how can we prevent uh, our birds from being affected by newcastle the only way is vaccinating your birds and vaccinating your birds in time when you get your birds at the farm, you're supposed to be given a vaccination schedule. When the chicks are still young, uh, there is a certain time whereby you're supposed to vaccinate these birds. And when the birds are mature, we are supposed to vaccinate every month. And please make sure that you don't exceed uh, five days, as in you don't be five days late. Because if you become late, you're going to be affected by this new castle also in in laying birds when your birds are already laying you will notice that the eggs are very soft so every day if you see many cases of soft eggs also know that the birds that new castle is coming up and also very small eggs abnormally very small eggs just know that also that is new castle and then another disease we have gumboro Gumboro is also a viral disease and it affects uh, very young chick chicks. Uh, normally chicks from three weeks up to around six weeks, that is whereby the birds are, are at a high risk of having this gumboro. And also before you reach eight weeks, just know that you still that your birds are still at a high risk of having gumboro. So what are the signs of this gumboro? Gumboro, you will uh, notice white watery diarrhea. And then uh, you will see sudden death. Yeah, when the birds are having gumboro, they die. Actually, when it attacks your birds, you can lose the entire flock. All you can use around half. It really kills your birds within three days. And then the birds will be weak and they will be dehydrated and very weak. So if you see all this, just know that your birds are having gumboro and please run to your pharmacy or you, you call your veterinary doctor to immediately come and you try to treat the signs and symptoms of these birds in order to save them. 
So how do we prevent our birds from having gumboro? When the birds are young, please make sure that you provide enough heat to your birds and also vac vaccinate your birds according to your vaccination schedule. And then another disease, we have new coccidiosis. Coccidiosis is really common in birds, especially those who are practicing deep litter system. For example, me here, I have um, practicing deep litter system, and sometimes we have coccidiosis here at the farm. So how do you know that your birds are having coccidiosis? Coccidiosis, you will notice yellowish, uh, all blood in their droppings, and then you will see ruffled feathers, and then the birds will be starting with, will be standing with the heads uh, facing down, and then uh, there will be weight loss, well, when the birds are having coccidiosis, they do not grow. They keep on losing the weight. When you see the, that your birds are losing weight, especially if, you, if you're raising your birds and then you're tracking their weight, if you see that the weight is reducing, just know that there could be coccidiosis. And then also you will see the weight litter. That is diarrhea. So that is coccidiosis. So how do we prevent our birds from catching coccidiosis? Make sure that your litter is dry. Make sure that your, your feeders are always clean, that the birds are not eating their like coffee hassocks mixing with the feeds. It means that the birds will be eating their droppings and then coccidiosis is going to come up in your flock. And then another disease is fall pox. Uh, fall pox is a viral disease which is spread by mosquitoes. Uh, so how do we know that our birds are uh, having uh, this fall pox? Fall pox, you will see that the combs and wattles are having uh, scabby-like uh, wounds. Yeah, when you see wounds on the combs and wattles, just know that there is fall pox. And also, the birds are going to lose weight. If you have laying birds, production is going to reduce because uh, eating is going to reduce. And remember, when your birds are not eating, they will not lay eggs. And also, there will be slow growth, uh, most especially in the birds which are still growing, and the pullets which are still growing and haven't started laying. So how do we stop or how do we prevent our birds from catching fallpox? Uh, by vaccinating our birds, like I have said, we are supposed to be given a vaccination schedule and on the schedule around six weeks there, you're supposed to be vaccinating your birds against fallpox. And also control mosquitoes around our farms because uh, this fallpox is brought about by mosquitoes. And then another disease is fall typhoid or salmonella. It is also common in birds. Uh, salmonella affects birds which are still young. And then uh, this fall typhoid, it affects old birds. It's the same disease. It's the same disease, but it attacks them differently. So how do we know that our birds are having this salmonella or fall typhoid? So we will notice yellow, green diarrhea, and then the birds are going to be weak. Uh, there will be dropping wings and then swollen abdomen and then also sudden death. This fall typhoid is also dangerous. It kills the entire flock and it is a viral disease meaning it has no cure. Yeah, they just treat the symptoms but it has no major cure. So it is dangerous. So how do we avoid or how do we prevent our birds from catching this fall typhoid? It is also by vaccinating our birds. On the schedule, me, uh, me here at Kevara Farm, I normally vaccinate uh, against this fall typhoid when the birds are around 12 weeks. 11 weeks to 12 weeks there, I normally vaccinate these birds against the fall typhoid. And it has never happened here at Kevara Farm. I've never faced that disease of fall typhoid here at the farm. Then we also have Marex disease. So how do you know that the birds are having Marex? Uh, there is normally paralyzed legs or wings. And then there is weakness in the birds. There is also loss of weight. There is blindness in some birds. 
Uh, normally when we are brooding the birds, you will see these birds which are having paralyzed legs and then sometimes you see blind birds. Yeah, just know that this is Marex disease. And how do we prevent this Marex disease from attacking our birds? The, on, the only prevention is vaccinating the old chicks. There is no cure, there is no other treatment for this disease. Before you get your birds, just ensure that your birds are vaccinated against this Marex disease because it is vac it is given it is it is given to the old birds. So if you have birds of around a week, you cannot vaccinate them against this. Then another disease is worm infestation and it is brought about by roundworms and tapeworms. So so how do we know that our birds are, are being infested with worms? You will notice poor weight gain and then there is diarrhea and also you will see the pale combs. Yeah, when you see that your, the combs are pale, just know that they are having worms. So we are supposed to vaccinate our birds every month. Yeah, and also me who gives charcoal every month, it helps my birds to deworm. There are those who use herbal remedies to deworm. For example, if you use popo leaves, popo seeds, and also charcoal, you will be deworming your birds. But when you're using these organic materials, don't stop the other routine of deworming your birds monthly. You should deworm at the same time you give these other rem herbal remedies to deworm your birds to ensure that your birds are not infested with worms. Another common disease in poultry is uh, chronic respiratory disease and most farmers know it, know it as cough. It is so 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 common and, I, and like I have said every time you notice cough in your flock just know that uh, the hygiene is not good at your farm. So how do we know that the birds are having cough? It is by the birds will be coughing and sneezing. Normally uh, at night that is when we can hear these birds cough and sneeze. And then also there will be nozzle discharge. If you discover discharge uh, from the nose, just know that that is cough. And then also there is slow growth. There is poor feed conversion. There is swollen eyes and the birds are going to reduce in production. So when you see all this, just know that your birds are having cough. And how do we prevent this cough from happening is by practicing good hygiene at the farm, uh, ensure a good biosecurity, and then also a good ventilation and also avoid overcrowding of your birds. So those are the common poultry diseases. Uh, if I can give you a summary, we have Newcastle, we have Gumboro, we have Cosidiosis, there is fall pox, uh, there is uh, cough, CRD, uh, there is uh, fall typhoid, all salmonella, and there is also worm infestation in your flock. How do we generally prevent these diseases from happening at the farm? Uh, from my experience, what I have seen, if you follow the vaccination schedule to vaccinate your birds, and then if you follow good biosecurity at your farm, biosecurity, you should always have the troughs at the entrance of your chicken coop such that whoever is going to enter into the chicken house, they first disinfect themselves. If you practice those two, surely you're not going to face diseases at the farm he i've seen it here at the farm we normally don't have a challenge of diseases here at the farm because i really practice good biosecurity here at the farm and i really follow the vaccination schedule when i first when i got an outbreak of newcastle at the farm uh, i realized uh, i delayed to vaccinate my birds so when I delayed, that is when, when I got this Newcastle outbreak here at the farm. And ever since then, I followed the schedule well. 
and that has never happened here at the farm and then also please avoid visitors at the farm i know most people like seeing these birds and there are so many people who want to learn how to do this project but for you to be on a safer side for your flock to be healthy please avoid people coming to visit your farm they are the people who will carry diseases to your flock and you're going to spend a lot of money to treat those diseases and then also avoid mixing uh, birds of different ages so if you mix birds of different ages you're not going to follow the schedule properly because when we are vaccinating the birds uh, they are those vaccines that we give to birds which are still young and also they are the the vaccines which we give to the birds which have uh, grown a bit like the fall typhoid we give it to the birds which have grown a bit uh, of around three months and then also fall pox we give it to uh, birds which are still young around five or six weeks so if you mix up the birds of different ages you will find that you're not following the schedule properly then also control rodents at the farm also mm -hmm. rodents bring diseases to our flock and then also control mosquitoes we've seen that mosquitoes they spread the fall pox to our birds and then also make sure that your your chicken house is always clean at all times and make sure that the litter is always dry for those who have deep litter system that way you're not going to find diseases you will never face challenge of diseases at your farm i know with this information it is going to help us especially to discover that diseases which could be coming up in our flocks and when we prevent them when we treat the diseases at early stages it doesn't affect us we don't see the effects the big effects in our flock so thank you so much for watching please if you're new on this channel don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video and share it with friends and family tell me anything in the comment section i'm willing to answer all your questions so thank you so much for watching again bye bye let me see you in my next video